Wake up, sleepyhead. Here we go. Get my timer. Get my head chopped off top of the screen. No, not stopwatch. It's no good. Hooray. <laughs> Stretches. Let's stretch first. Look at that. Looks great. I don't have to get much closer. There you go. It's funny. It looks looks worse in the video. We'll see how it looks in the final recording. But it looks amazing in real life. We're doing the wound care on it, which is just means about five minutes of massage to try and destroy the scar tissue in there. Um, the the little the darker part closer to the camera is uh, the the least healed. You could say it's like a looks a little a little more spread out. Uh, it's actually not the end of the scar. It's funny. It's like right before the end. Must have been just a little chunk of it that wasn't quite overlapping perfectly when they sutured it. Yeah, same with the top. Uh, except that that's more consistent. Like the whole thing is just slightly less. Uh, I, I would say the the bottom part there. You know, the more flat part of the arm than the top. It actually follows the um, the tendon fairly well. It's very pronounced now. The, the lady was like digging around, uh, doing the massage, digging around on the scar and being like, ah, you can really feel the tendon. You gotta use the timer on the video because I forgot to hit start on the stretch. Oh God, oh God, like it matters so much. Whew. Having a get back in my schedule a little earlier than yesterday. Keep pushing every day. We get a little bit better. That's all you got to be is better than you were yesterday. You don't got to be the best in the world. Jesus Christ. Oof. That's kind of the problem you get with all these modern day competitive games. Is that everybody? There you got YouTube, so you can see the top one hundred people are probably posting because they're the top one hundred out of thousands and millions of players possibly. And then people go on to Reddit where anyone could post. It's still only a couple percentage points of that massive audience. But now they're saying like, well, for reference, people can do this. And then they put up a YouTube video of the top 100 people. Or even the top 1,000 people with Jimmy Christmas. And of course, they're cherry-picked videos. Rarely is the video of like, here's when I logged in and got my shit pushed in. Oh, well. I actually put those up because I think they're kind of funny to me at least. Um, they probably lack context if a stranger just wanders in and watches them. They're like, uh, yeah, so you're bad at the game. That's really funny. Um, but yes, the, the idea being, you know, if you were like a small town mechanic, mechanic in a small town, you were the best mechanic in town and that helped your mind, your mental state a lot more than you might have thought because you were thus the best in the world. There's only this small town and you were the best in the the world was the town. And now you can turn on YouTube and see like the best mechanic in the world or the mechanic that owns the most cars in the world and you'll get confused about what what it means to your mind when you were like I'm good at being a mechanic and now you you know you're like ah I'm terrible at being a mechanic. <laughs> no you're probably fine you're not as good as that guy don't take any of that away from this um we would run into like a microcosm of it a lot in uh destiny rating where people are reading about optimal dps and i think to his credit dag and definitely myself we were looking for like the easiest but best dps so easiest was primary was was incredibly important it's like 75 percent important um and we're definitely talking about a sliding scale here so we're looking for the way to do the most damage without uh having to know a technical execution uh scenario so we could put the guns or the the the, the idea in anybody's hand and have them do whatever that good amount of dps was because there there's like if you take the Garden of Salvation raid, you could you could beat it in 
uh, like two people could beat it in like two phases, I want to say, doing like a Izanagi's run reload glitch with some with with the grenade launchers backing it up, auto loading grenade launcher, canceling the reload of Izanagi's into switching your gun, shooting your gun, switching back to Izanagi, firing it off, reloading and canceling. You can get like three Izanagi shots off and like 12 grenade launcher shots off or something. And this was two people beating it in two phases, which means something that could do like 65, 75% of that times six people instead of two, you could definitely just two phase it comfortably every time. Uh, not to mention with all those additional people, you, you could throw in extra bonus DPSs, golden guns and stuff. You know, it'd be great. You could, you could do a lot better. You, you could do a lot more bursty. You could, you could do little things that, that they were saving their supers to do in order to get into the scenario where they're two manning it. So, uh, the important part wasn't to watch someone like one man and two man it, and then come back into a raid with people and say, this guy two mans it, we're idiots or whatever. Like, no, uh, we're not idiots. Like we're just not, sometimes you can't do things in a, in a six man that you can in like a two man. Uh, there are mechanics that like target everybody except the last man standing and things like that. So, if you were like a one manning it, you might like ignore a certain mechanic because they happen to code it that way. Uh, whatever games are complicated, they're coded the way they are. Most of the time that wasn't true. Uh, most of the time things were just, you know, target everybody, but uh, point being, probably record some more videos. Uh, probably do a doom video tomorrow that's the intent anyway uh, and we we did a pretty good video last time I felt like I wasn't contributing on it and I I think uh, Andy picked up on that a little bit because he's been asking me about like co-op games and stuff lately and yeah like fair enough like even even if it's not that I'm bored and who cares if I'm bored but if I'm not engaged uh, keep me like going because it we were we were playing through realms of chaos and memento mori and we were doing simpsons and it was it was fun and then it hit it hit a wall definitely for me where i felt like i was i didn't have anything to contribute he's just playing doom uh we talked about everything we we're seeing on the screen we talked about the level layout looking kind of simple and what now what more can we talk about? Can we talk about something that happened to me that's not even really like Doom related? Hey, that comes up a lot in those videos because the video series was long and hours long per episode and many, many episodes, 30, you know, 300 hours or something. So, you know, but it shouldn't have been in a, in a one-off that's like, oh, look at these like special things we're trying out. I lost my light. There we go. Uh, so yeah I don't know like Doom was made to be played like co-op uh, and I'd love to figure out a way if I could play like we have two keyboards hooked up all the time it makes recording easy I can give him a keyboard to play on and I have a keyboard I can do uh, producer work on for lack of a better word and we could both play on a keyboard but I think like the game will need to have the focus. It'll need to be the focus of, of the computer. It'll have to be the application in the foreground. It's possible I could set up a version of Doom that takes uh, controller input and and tell that one like, oh, you know, accept controller input when you're not in focus or something. Or maybe there's literally just emulators of Doom out there that can be run in like a split screen. Uh, we could put it on two monitors and stuff. We could do all kinds of tricks. It'd be neat. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, I have to look into that. It would be neat. It would be nice to do one or two co-op. Uh, I used to love to play co-op Doom back in the day. I just really like co-op games. Uh, I think I said that to him. You know, I've been analyzing that little interaction we had. Because afterwards we jumped into some Capcom and we played that for five hours or something. We beat it like four or five times over. Um, 
it'd be nice to put up a video of that. I really want to put up a video of Streets of Rage uh, remix. I might might record myself practicing that tonight. Um, she's sitting right next to me. This is going to sound weird. I'm like talking about her, but I get self-conscious uh, practicing headphone games where I'm talking by myself when she's home on vacation. So, like I'm just sitting here having to be quiet in my own house and not make any sound and not watch anything while you play a video game for your little YouTube channel. Nine. Ten. Arms feel a lot better today. I can actually do this without being like, my tricep. It's ridiculous. I, I assume it was the the exercises I did with, with Dr. Akazuki. The tests, the strength tests. Uh, I mean, it could have been anything. I, I was working my ass off. It, it is nice, at least I haven't had to go do a PT or I haven't had to cook for hours for a Super Bowl game or or babysit the kids or do anything gnarly for for a day for one day <laughs> that's great for one whole day well I'm gonna do it again today even though they're coming by to be babysat technically because it's Friday but I'm gonna go for my walk talk with CD Hopefully hear some more from Cray, figure out what we're doing, and, uh, and get to doing it. All right, guys.